Hey, how's it going everybody? Gun Psychiatrist here. So, this video has been a long time in the making, and I've been thinking about doing one of these for years now, but I finally had a subscriber recently comment on a Mossberg Maverick 88 video that I had put up some years ago, uh, looking for a little bit more detail in the reassembly of the Mossberg Maverick 88 trigger pack. Now, a little brief history on these. The Mossberg Maverick 88 trigger pack is very similar, if not exact, to the Mossberg 500 trigger pack. The Mossberg 500 trigger pack, of course, there's a little bit of differences, but for the most part, they are relatively the same, and I do believe there is even some parts interchangeability. The main problem with the last video I shot is the video quality was absolutely terrible. Um, it's uh, that video was shot back in I believe like 2015. It's now 2020. Well, almost 2020. Cameras have come a long way to say the least. Even with the cell phones that we have now, I still have issues getting really high quality video. So luckily, thank the Lord for my brother. He has been nice and kind enough to allow me to borrow his Canon camera, which is going to give us some really high resolution close-up video of me actually reassembling the Mossberg Maverick 88 trigger pack. You can apply these steps not only to the 88, but also the 500 and 590 trigger packs. The way I had to learn these was the hard way. Mossberg will tell you to pack sand if you try calling them. They want you to send these back to them. I discourage manufacturers that do that. I don't like that. You guys were able to provide a, a technical breakdown in an exploded drawing of these trigger packs there are plenty of very fine talented american gunsmiths that can get these back together in no time but of course mossberg doesn't want to do that because they don't believe in the american way i guess what everybody's after is how to get this puppy back together so going forward what we're going to do i'm going to show you and outline the components of the trigger pack i'm going to show you detailed assembly steps involved in the process and then I'm going to show you the trigger pack and a function check once it's all completed and put back together. Okay so this is the Mossberg Maverick 88 trigger pack. It is very similar if not the exact same component that is going to be used in the Mossberg 500 and 590 series shotguns. You can even see on this trigger pack there's a slot cut out which would accompany the Mossberg 500 and 590 series safeties. Really the only distinguishing difference with a Maverick trigger pack versus a 500 trigger pack is going to be this safety located on the front side of the trigger guard. The first thing I want to make note of are the different components that are located on this for identification sake. So this part right here that moves up and down, this is what's known as the action lock. So when the bolt goes forward, this pops up and holds that bolt in place unless you let it down and that way you can slide the pump to the rear and eject the casing. Once your hammer fires, this actually automatically pops up allowing the bolt to cycle rearward, thus cocking the gun again. So this is known as the action lock and right here, what you're seeing is known as the action lock spring. This is a piece that definitely has some people with questions out there of how to get these back together. The other part is what's known as the disconnector. This slides up and down. Now, of course, it's connected to the trigger. And it has a large role in firing the hammer and resetting the sear. Okay, you can see the components of the disconnector. You can see from back here, this right here that's moving, that's the sear surface on the hammer. This piece that's kind of in the middle of these two pieces, that's sitting stationary, that's the sear itself. So when you pull the trigger, the disconnector actually engages the sear pushes it forward, the hammer flies forward, and at this point the bolt should be sitting over this. So it would automatically reset when you let go of the trigger. It comes back and locks. 
This spring is not the trigger spring. This is the sear spring. It's a little tricky to get in, but we're gonna use this side of it to get it back in once we get to that point. The trigger spring is actually located back inside of here, I do believe. It's been a while, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna definitely find out where it's located in a second. Then of course, on the inside, there is a strut spring for the hammer strut that runs to a hammer spring that sits right back behind here. I don't necessarily know if we're gonna be removing this, but this is a one-way pin. It uh, has expanded ends on it. You can see those expanded ends, so it should only operate one way. You don't wanna drive those expanded ends through your, uh, through your trigger pack. So this is the trigger pack fully assembled. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get it apart so you can inspect each individual part. And if you're like most people that have found this video, you're trying to figure out how to get this back together. It's fairly simple, so sit back, relax, and I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. We have the action lock, we have the action lock springs, 